So, here we are. I have now got a new display to go in the front of the showroom. Uh, <laughs> which is all these boxes here. Um, and that's going to be fun to try and install. But this is a new supplier to us, uh, Rock Punk. They're a German uh, brand of kitchen cabinet. And I thought I would give you my first impressions um, straight off the cuff. So, the legs are really good. Better, I'd say, than pretty much most of the ones I've dealt with in the past. The drawer boxes are the same as what we're usually dealing with, so no surprises there, except for the back has a nice little rebate in to stop the base deflecting, which I think is a nice improvement. Um, uh, and other than that, they're packaged pretty well. Um, it does, one thing that is slightly annoying is that I'm used to having things like the legs in with each individual unit, so you know you've got what you need for that unit, and it's with that specific unit. Whereas these guys deliver all of the cabinetry, lovely boxed up, um, ready to go. But all of the accessory items come in a separate box that you then got to go fishing around in. So there's then all these fixing kits, um, which I'm assuming they've got the right quantity of bits and bobs. Oh, that's interesting though. They've even got um, <laughs> the wall hanging brackets and uh, bolts. I mean, they look really quite beefy. So that's interesting. You don't normally get supplied with those. Um, they're gonna be slightly useless for me because we made our showroom, because it's a showroom and not a house, the walls are actually MDF rather than plasterboard. Um, so we don't need to drill into any brickwork or anything. Um, so these are all, I'm not gonna need them. But really good for actual jobs because these are, um, these look great. They look great quality. Um, mm. Yeah, like that. The angle bracket. I'm sure I'll figure out what that's for at some point. Another one. Another one, lots of those. Other kind of ancillary items, lots of elbow brackets actually. Um, push open mechanisms, therefore some drawers that we've got. A rubber gasket of some sort, now that's an interesting one. I'm sure I'll have fun figuring out where that goes. And, oh, hello. Hey, look at that. Food, snacks, healthy snacks. But, hey, that's, that's, that's quite nice, nice little touch. Thank you. I might tuck into those in a minute. I'm feeling quite peckish. But yes, there we go. But I guess let's... Uh, let's uh, get cracking on with the installation. So one of the nice things about these German cabinets is that they have uh, light rails pre-cut into the sides of them so that this is a glass unit with a glass door and there'll be glass shelves and traditionally you'd have lights at the top like over here shining down through 
those. But if you wanted to put, let's say, some plates on the top shelf, well, they're going to cast a shadow throughout the rest of the cabinet. So, not ideal for, for the lights to travel through. So, we've got, like, rails that go down the side. And because they're coming out from the side, they're going to light it all uniformly. Now, these are actually slightly... There you go, you can see it there. These are angled. So I've got a choice now. Do I angle them to face back? Or do I angle them to face forward? Oh. I think I'm going to angle them to face forward. That seems to make the most sense to me. Because they're quite the, the lights themselves are actually set quite far back in the cabinet. So I think... I think that's the way to do it. But yeah, they even come pre-drilled with a hole. Let me make that out, very hard to see. It is just there. That allows me to feed the uh, the light cable through. Oh, and the light cable even comes with an extension on it. So, let's, uh, let's get this put in. We'll just connect it from there. Yeah, let's get going. So here's another nice little detail. They've actually supplied, it's a bit of sort of go on the edge, but they've supplied black screws that have a decent head on them uh, and they're the Starbolt fitting um, <clears throat> with the kitchen. So if it'll focus, there we go. Yeah, supplied with the kitchen to go with the colour carcass so that when we screw the cabinets together, I mean, from here, you can't really see them. That's brilliant, I like that. There we go, the end of day one. Well, I've only really spent half a day here because I've done things on two other sites so far today. <coughs> I'm also at delivery in this morning. But, um, okay, at four units in, but the corner post was already done, so that saved me a heck of a lot of time in cussing. Um, all those lights are in, which if I was going to try and do manually would have been an absolute pig, so just to show you guys push for open and then there lights that will light up these units 
In fact, I could if I found the driver and put them on right now, but I'm not gonna. Um, yeah. Got room for the work top slips going there because it's gonna have a waterfall edge. Um, okay, so we're a couple of hours into day two, although I haven't started anything on the display yet because I've been on a sonic doing stuff for people. Um, so here we are, this is where we left off yesterday. And um, all we've got to do is finish levelling off this, although I think I left it. Look at that, that's pretty bloody good. Maybe I'll leave it alone. Um, let's check it the other way, this thing. Check, check, check. No, that is... I don't think it much better than that. So, yeah, good that way too. Perfect. Um, so, we are going to um fix this off properly so this is now lined up i've got a decent door line there so it needs to screw in from the back i need to put some kind of um batten across there to hold that in place um so i'm gonna see if i've got any uh, uh material kicking about that will do that and um then probably start with the wall units across here because that will clear some more space to start installing the display this side, which is going to be a pig. And I've got to get that mirror off the wall, which, um, yeah, that's going to be tricky. Uh, I think I need to go and get some razor wire at some point or some fishing line or something, um, arguably today. So, yeah, let's crack on. Here we go, so end of day two. Um, not really full days, but lights are on, wall units are up. I've got a few more wall units to hang, uh, and a dress to put up, and some end panels to do, but effectively, got to start cutting some end panels tomorrow, so that'll take pretty much all day, I suspect. Um, and these are not fixed off, but that won't take very long, I don't think. Um, yeah, there we go. Well, here we are, day three, and I've got some thinking to do now, or no, planning, in that in order to get this side of the showroom put in correctly, then I have to take into account a couple of things. So, above this unit here, 
the worktop has to sit before a dresser sits on top of that. Now, there's also an end panel that goes floor to the top of the unit that's at the, uh, it's the dresser, basically. So, I've got to cut the end panel, take into account the height of the dresser and the thickness of the worktop and the height of the plinth, and set that side up. But I need to check it against that side as well. Um, hopefully, there's a bit of giving the panels, because chances are the floor won't be perfectly, perfectly flat. Um, but once I've got those, well, that end panel in, I'll work backwards because I can put the end panel in here and then just, if there is a bit of a gap left, which I suspect there will be, I can then just fill it um, afterwards. Uh, and I've got to get my door switch mounted into this cupboard as well. So, <coughs> I guess let's crack on. Um, I need to set up myself a little work desk. And by the power of magic, there we go, one workstation set up. So, just got to get an end panel in and start taking some measurements. So just stop for a bit of lunch and <coughs> so in the morning I have got this unit in with a trim piece up the side, got the, the switch for the door mounted, I've got all of these units mounted now and I've got three wall units still to put up uh, and then the dresser over there can't really go up until they um, template the worktops. So I would probably just sit it on there until they come and template the worktops just to make sure it uh, isn't going to be in the way. So there we go, three days so far to get to this point. And um, 
There's only one thing wrong that I can find, and that's that the uh, bottom drawer there is missing a couple of uh, pieces that means that it's meant to push to open, but the mechanism doesn't work. The top one shouldn't, it's got a handle rail that's going to go in, but um, the bottom one should be pushed to open. Um, everything else though has been pretty cool, and this I'm particularly fond of. So. That's cool. The light at the top there that will come on when the uh, door is open. So yeah, happy days. And there's a few panels that need to go on. So I've got a back panel to go on here and into the corner. I've got the trim piece up there um, to go in and that just needs cutting down to the appropriate width. I've got an end panel to go on this end and then some skirting I need to put on. Hmm and some skirting down there and paint that wall actually probably should have done that first um but that's all in it's amazing how well the ovens fit i mean they literally they're a perfect fit um so that's pretty cool um, i've got the handle rails put in and there's some paneling and lights to go around this one so i'm going to need to feed some uh, drawstrings down the back but there's a decent gap there so i don't think that'll be a problem to get the power cables pulled up for the uh, for the lights. So yeah, overall I'm pretty impressed. Uh, in kind of less than three proper days working on this and it's, um, it's ready for the worktops to be templated. And um, yeah. So I think I might wrap this video up here. I think I'll do the end panels because I'll be cutting tomorrow the worktop templating and the worktop installation as a second video. So, love you, bye.